Hey, what's going on everyone? Soul here, and welcome to episode 11 of my Pokemon Crystal Vietnamese playthrough. In the last episode, we beat Claire, receiving our 8th and final gym badge in the Johto region, and now we are on our way to Indigo Plateau. Now, I discovered, uh, late episode, that Kusti, my fur alligator, could not learn Waterfall, and I absolutely need Waterfall for the next area. So, my solution to this is I went and I caught myself a Gyarados named Hogar from the Lake of Rage and I deposited Kusti in his place. Now, uh, as many of you are aware, but I will just reiterate, depositing any Pokemon in the PC is a risk all in, 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 in of itself because if the game gets turned off uh, at any point, anything inside the PC just gets devoured immediately. Uh, so I made a save state before I deposited Kusti. Here comes the strangers, by the way. Um, that's what she said. That's what the trainer said, and just blurt that out. I made a save state before I put Kusti in the PC. So worst case scenario, I can withdraw. I can just you know reload that save state, and I'll still have Kusti in the party. The problem is that I cannot save um, or will. I guess I could save state somewhere along this route or in Victory Road, but again, I don't know if that will endanger Kusti or not. I think it will. Like I remember experimenting with this a while back, and anything in the PC, even upon reloading a save state, would just be erased. Uh, so I pretty much have to do this route and then Victory Road all in one go, which I was planning on doing anyway. Um. But it is still nerve-wracking, to say the least, because I, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose my starter this close to victory, uh, to uh, the Elite Four. That would be very depressing indeed. So, yeah, I'm just going to try and just get through this, and, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Now, further complicating the matters is that uh, I actually have to leave for work uh, in about an hour and ten minutes or so. So, me trying to do all this... Right now, um, where I have a hard time limit, probably wasn't the best idea. But, uh, you know, yeah, um, here we are. Anyway. Oh, good. 95 actually missed. Sweet. All right. Or is it 90? I can't remember what fly is in this game. Either way, it's always a good feeling. <clears throat> Okay, the game made it up to me with a crit. Alright, I'll take that. And very strong. Indeed. Now, I do also plan on fighting every trainer uh, on these routes because I am definitely underleveled uh, for the Elite Four, and I'm going to need every ounce of juice I can I can get to uh, try and turn the tables here. I also uh, haven't... I haven't discuss this yet. I also have, well, I come to find out, a bugged item in my inventory, which is just another amazing layer uh, to the VC experience. Essentially, what ends up happening is if I try and throw the item away or selling it, my game immediately crashes, and anytime I scroll past it, uh, my screen gets filled with just a whole bunch of just random, just garbage text. I have no idea what the actual actual item itself is. All I know is that I can't actually look at it or scroll past it because it will crash my menu if I try and scroll too quickly after I've seen it. Yeah, I swear to God I'm not making this shit up. It's, it sounds like a fucking creepypasta. I opened my Pokemon Crystal game and I had a cursed item and I didn't remember picking it up and it crashed my game and then I saw IRL Sonic with bloodshot eyes. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, thankfully, just by sheer dumb luck, it was a rather new item that I picked up. I don't even remember where I picked it up at, but it's at the bottom of my inventory. So, as long as I don't scroll all the way down to the bottom of my item pouch, that will be fine. Uh, oh, that's an execute. Wow, that is hideous looking. Oh, I hate it. It looks really, like, the eggs look really large. Like, that sprite is... 
mm, insane. Ha! <laughs> that sprite is crazy. Okay. Got a flinch, though, so I'll take that. You unknow! There's many things I unknow, and even more that I do. That's not true. Bread. Bread the Sand Slash. All right. Well, this thing, uh, this, this might be a jump cut. Let's see how much Fly does. Hmm. Jump cut it is. Okay, I killed the Sand Slash. <laughs> it's as I think. You're so wise. You're so wise. All right, so all we have left? Okay, so we have Petra and Rocky, so I need to be leveled up to 34. Let me guess your thinking. Are you going to challenge Elf? In a manner of speaking, sir. In a manner of speaking. But yeah, so I, I don't know if I've touched upon the number of... Uh, okay, and Rocky immediately gets switched out. Got it. I don't know if I touched upon the number of game-breaking bugs and such that I've ran into in this playthrough. But there's been a lot that I've had to edit out and find solutions to. Some of them are just annoying, visual, or just weird, like, other kind of bugs like that, where they don't really affect too much. Um, but then there are, there have been several bugs where the game will crash immediately upon the bug activating, etc. So, yeah, this playthrough, this playthrough has been fun. I've had a really good time um, playing this, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching it, but, yeah, it's also given me a lot of grief, and, uh, huh, I really like, I, like, I love, I love the dialogue, I love just playing through Crystal again, but goddamn, I could go without my game crashing to some unknown force every other fucking time I turn it on. That is a giraffe rig, that is, ugh. I've always hated Giraffe Rick's design. I can't stand it. I hate that tail thing. Oh, I don't know what level it was. Maybe that was Psych Up. Either way, it's dead. Don't gotta worry about it. Bye-bye. Strong. Yeah. The elves here are wild. Mmm. And everyone has three Pokemon. Another Starmie? Really? What are the odds? Is this Starmie the same level too? Mm, I wanted to keep... I wanted to keep uh, Rocky in and, and gamble, but... If that thing uses Bubble Beam, Rocky is... Very good. Very dead. <laughs> Speak of the devil. All right. And I probably should have healed Shara, and I just didn't. Why? I don't, I don't have an answer for you. I wish I did, but I don't. <sighs> mm, Danny. This thing has recover. Yeah, Danny says, fuck you, recover. Hideous, hideous beast. Pro oh, that's body slam. Yep, and of course it paralyzes because body slam paralyzes nine out of ten times, it feels like. She had two two Starmies? Really? Two Starmies and a Needle Queen. What is this girl's, like... 
Oh my god, Danny, please. You know what? Just die. Just die. Get out of my face. Hmm. <laughs> well. I guess Lugus it is. again. Okay, so yeah, Lucas is dead. I bought a, uh, before I started heading this way, I bought a bunch of revives and healing items, which I'm very happy I did, because clearly I'm going to need every single one. Okay, quick claw kicked in. Hopefully this kills. Rocky! Ah, very strong. Damn, that girl Stormy's wrecked my shit. It seems fine today to win the elf to compete the championship. Ran to a bunch of ace trainers, and there's a random fisherman out here with a quillfish named Boat. Nice. Keep at it, Rocky. One more. One more will do it. Oh, I was referring to the one after that one, but you know what? Hey, take it to heart. That's fine, man. You do you. Uh, Dre. Sure. Okay, so let's see. St oh, man. Stare is Bite. Clap is Iron Tail. Bind is Ember. And then Hit is Headbutt. I'm, you know what, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, um, hmm. Praise the Lord, it's a fire move, and it's flame wheel, which means I finally get to dump Ember. This late in the game, <laughs> right for the Elite Four, we're learning something better than Ember. Oh, that's so great. Oh, I'm actually, like, genuinely happy about that. I also found out that, uh, Growlithe learns Flamethrower, level 50, which is awesome. So, he'll have that. I'm definitely going to keep him a Growlithe until I hit level 50. I don't know if I'll have the opportunity to evolve him before then, but if I do, nice crit. Uh, yeah, I'm going to leave him until 50. Alright, yeah, I don't want Rocky getting knocked out. Let's put in... Yeah, sure. Could have actually probably put in Petra, because I, I I think I think I remember a meme of how Goldine and Seeking don't learn like water moves until like way later in in their level up, if if even at all. Like you have to actually teach them, which is hilarious. Whatever, it's all we're done with. Goodbye. The competent is no okay. So is she a good? How about elves? My Liddell go to Elf Center every day. Seen beautiful camel last time. Let it es escaped while calling. Then make a phone call next time. Die. Very neat. Very cool. Alright. Get Petra up here. To work. The quantities of budge budges or buds are so man, but it is only satisfied with collecting budges. Oh my god. Oh, an espion. Nice.
All right, now hopefully I get a, a miss or two. Nice. That worked perfectly. That mudslap was totally worth it. Dodge the second psychic, or confusion, whatever that was. And then it just used quick attack randomly at the end for some reason. Good acting. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, that just heads back. Alright, so let's keep heading up. I forgot about this house. I think they heal you there, right? To demonstrate the ability here... Alright, so I got a free... Full heal to the team whenever I need it. Oh, double team. Oh boy. Alright, and we already missed once. Here we go. So oh, I thought I was going to keep using it. Petra. Here we go. <laughs> you lead off with a Pikachu and then you have a blast toys in the waiting in the wings? What? Alright, well, goodbye, Petra. You are very dead. Um sure it is. Alright, and then he used Rain Dance because Blast Choice is a bro. Sweet. Oh, even Crit, too. Nonsense. Don't believe. The effect of Repel disappeared. Okay. Fight continuously to train strong... I think that's... I'm supposed to say bodies, but... It's like B-Doys or something. <clears throat> Another three Pokemon. Great! A victory Bell. Alright. Oh! By dumb luck. Lucas was next up. Oh man, I remember Victory Bell's moveset, or the Weeping Bell family, really. It, their moveset is so bad. That just popped into my brain. Because I, I think way back in Red and Blue days, I think I tried using a Victory Bell. For some reason, I just I, I probably thought it looked cool or something. And I was just mortified by how absolutely terrible it was. <laughs> That's Fire Spin? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because if that had been a stronger Fire Move, Lucas would have melted. A Kingler. Okay. Well, let's just use Sand Attack and lower your accuracy, and then I'll just explode. Alright, bye! Oh! Alright, never mind. Alright. Peck ya. We'll peck ya some. Oh, that did actually more damage than I thought it would. And the reason I'm letting people die like this is because I know that that, uh, Healing house is like literally right around the corner. Dang it, all these crits keeps choosing violence. I love it. 
the stern of life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep heading north, and then when I hit the cave entrance, I'll double back in order to make challenge, making the last adjustment. Anyway, when I hit the cave entrance, I'll double back to the house, get everyone healed up, and then we'll uh, dive right in. I think Parasect is bug grass, right? So this should be, this might be a one shot. Oh, it sure was. I meant to use. Oh, God damn it. I meant to use Thunder Punch, and I just. I just clicked too quick. and it still lives. That's disappointing. Failed. If you don't ulteriorly exercise, the monster, the seedly victory is hard. It said the four emperor is stronger than all the curators. They are in the league. Yes. Yes, indeed. All of that made sense. Okay, and there's the entrance. Perfect. All right. So, nope. Stop. All right. Let's just try and get Rocky some last-minute experience here. Hopefully this lady doesn't have anything too crazy. Lost to Operator. Very strong. It seems to win. The Elf is pitiful. Are you, are you talking about Lynette? My rival? Oh, okay. I'm not actually sure I can fight this with Rocky. Well, if it wants to keep using agility, that would help me out quite a lot. Mess. Well, mess missed. I think mess is Fury Attack. I think Don Fan, or sorry, I think uh, Petra had that at one point. Stop, that's not good. Alright, come on, get the, get the, come on, get through. Yes! Good job, Rocky. Really, the monster isn't a prop to fight. Okay, yeah, she was definitely referring to the rival. We are all healed up. We are ready to go. Victory Road awaits us. So, let's get to it, guys. We're almost there. Only real strong coach can go through the front. These are eight badges in Shang Dao. Come on, please. Come to challenge the league. The fearful four emperor is waiting for you. The front is Bai Jinshan. Let your fearful monster to exist there. All right, so that's Mount Silver to the left. Can't go there yet. Now, Victory Road throughout the years has uh, deferred in length. Sometimes it's pretty short. Sometimes it's really long. I don't remember which side of the spectrum the crystal version falls on, but hopefully it's a little bit on the shorter side. I just used a repel, and the first encounter I ran into got through my repel. Oh my god. I am on a time limit here, Golbat. Fuck off. Okay. In the interest of time here. I'm going to put Shara up front. Because Shara thinks I'm about to level up again. And 36 should be more than enough to uh, ensure I don't run into any random encounters. Okay, don't go down.
Actually, it looks like 35 is doing just, yeah, just, just fine. Oh, another item I'll never be able to use, because I know that's at the bottom of my inventory, and uh, that's where the cursed item is. Are there no trainers in here? Show drug find. Well, I don't know what that is. All right, moving on. Is that the exit? Did I just see the exit up top? Okay, hold on. Before we go up there. Is this Earthquake? <sighs> that might be Earthquake. Because I remember Earthquake is in Victory Road. Let's check, let's check it out. Shaking ground to attack. Yes, it sure is. Oh my god. Okay, so now I have Earthquake. I gotta really think about who I want to teach that to. Oof. And yeah, dude, this is the exit. There were no trainers in here. That's in aside from the rival. The rival's about to jump me when I try and walk out. Oh my god. <laughs> I was sitting here stressing like, oh my god, how am I gonna get through this in time for work? But uh, there were no trainers. We're just, we're Gucci. We're good to go. That's amazing. I'm so happy. All right, Rocky, get back up there. Let's do this. Wait, now you go to don't excessively. How are you my opponent? I am not the past one. Now I have the strongest monster. Everyone can't win, conquer me. Come to compete with me. Very nice of Lynette to send me off before I go fight Dilly 4. Oh, and he starts out with Sneasel. Okay, yeah, this is perfect for Rocky. And my Quick Claw kicked in too. Man, this was, that was great. First time using Flame Wheel, can I get a one-shot? I doubt it. Yeah, that's fine. Over half, I'll take it. And it used Fury Cutter. <laughs> they quick clock kicked in again. Good shit. Give 10% rolled twice. Okay. Gilu. Gilu. Um, let's do... Hmm. We have rollout now. Oh, don't. Well, I'll be able to take this thing's attacks, no problem. It's just a matter of, uh, is the confusion going to troll me or not? And we're already off to a great start. All right, now hopefully I can get through Confusion again. Oh, the Confusion wore off. All right, perfect. All right, now assuming it doesn't miss, this will definitely take the Golbat out. And then now that it's at Strength 4, which, you know, the next use, I'll probably one-shot anything that doesn't resist uh, rollout at this point. Assuming Petra acts. Uh, there goes that. There goes the dream. All right. Well, we got ourselves a perfect check to this thing. Almost half. All right, cool. Nice. No paralyze. No para. 
Oh my god, no paralysis procs is what I was trying to say. Jesus Christ. Also, I, I just, you know, I just remembered, um, when I was looking up HMs I would need for Victory Road, um, one of the things I read said that I was going to need, like, Rock Smash and Fly, or Flash, and I didn't need any of those, so I'm not really sure, I'm not really sure, I don't know, it was, it's, it's weird, I feel like I've been duped, uh, actually, no, Rocky will probably get knocked out, um, let's put in Danny. Alright, we're gonna go with Dynamic Punch. I think that's Thunder Shock. That shouldn't do too much, yeah. Alright. 0 for 1. O for 2. Paralyzed, okay. And Danny's dead. All right. I'd like to remind you guys that uh, the very first time I used Dynamic Punch, it hit. And now it has thus, it has missed every single time since then. So, that's, uh, that's a good feeling. Why are you still alive? Why are you still alive, you little troll? <sighs> Um, is it, is it idle? Or is that considered sleep? Okay. Now as long as Thundershock doesn't troll me and paralyze me. Okay, good. Okay, assuming I'm faster, I should be able to one-shot this thing. Stab super effective. So I'm, that's the hope, anyway. Otherwise, Char is very dead. Okay, good. Ho-ho! Look at you! Man of culture, I see. Alright. Char and Yongle. He's wanting a hint for something. I'm not really sure what he's fishing for, but this ain't it. Uh, you know what? We're going to put Rocky in. I want to get Rocky some experience. Some more experience. Honestly, I thought Rocky was closer to leveling up. Otherwise, I wouldn't have swapped him out. This thing used Future Sight. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we got him anyway. Again, Lynette lost. Lost. Thouth efforts now I see. Why to use dragon? I don't give up. The wish to be a strongest coach. I will find my lack, then become... What? Then become you. Up to that lung time. I will try my best to fight with you. And to try hard is good. That wasn't as big of a uh, change of heart, like awesome motivational speech that it usually is in the original with uh, the dialogue so goofed. Anyway, we made it! Here is Zenith of the Cheyenne Highland. First things first, before we do literally anything else. Hogar, it is time for you to go. Thank you for your service. Kusti? Okay. Kusti is safe. Hogar is now the one to be eaten. But such is life. Alright, immediately saving. Alright, with that save under our belt here, we're going to heal. And honestly, guys, I think I'm going to cut the episode. Because there really isn't anything else I think I can do before I fight the Elite Four. Like, I could try and maybe level grind a little bit in Victory Road. 
Uh, maybe I'll do that off camera, I don't know. I, uh, level grinding in itself is something that makes me nauseous, especially after my Heart Gold playthrough where I had to level grind so much because of the mod key. Anyway, um, yeah, so a little bit of this episode is a little bit on the shorter side, but next episode promises to be an exciting one as that means we will be challenging the Elite Four and hopefully coming out on top with our very underlevel team. <laughs> We'll see how that goes, but I'm looking forward to it. Should be a lot of fun. So, anyways, thank you guys as always for watching. Take care, everyone. And I'll see you guys in the next episode here very soon. See you next time. So, I actually decided to change my mind. I'm actually going to do the Elite Four in this episode. I was editing the prior episode and realized that it was actually quite short. And thought, you know what? We're just going to do the Elite Four right now. I did do some leveling off camera. My highest, I think, before was 35. Now everyone is minimum level 40, uh, with Kusti being the highest 41. I think this is going to be a lot better. I think I'm still a bit under-leveled, but it's going to be a whole hell of a lot better than had I went in here with 34 and 35, so that would have been a slaughter, I think. But anyway, so first up, we have ourselves Will, the Psychic-type user. Hopefully you guys are excited, because I am. Welcome to the League. I am Yasiji. Walk all over the world, make an elf practice day and night. Finally, I become one of the four emperor. I would become stronger. I will not lose out, absolutely. Now I'm leading off with Shara here, because Shara, of course, has the psychic type resistance. And with the elemental punches, I remember Will has a bunch of dual types. So I should be able to take advantage of that pretty darn well. Also, his first Pokemon's 40, so I'm actually right around where I need to be, level-wise. Oh, and I just one-shot the damn thing. Okay, sure I came to play, let's go. Alright, now I can't imagine I'm going to be as lucky with this one, being the uh, level 42. Yep. Okay, that went perfect. Okay, so we'll heal them. That's fine, though. Oh, and then Shara just says, fuck all that, and then one-shots it. That'll work. Okay, Luzo, we got Fire, fire Punch. Hopefully this has over half. Oh yeah, sure did. Perfect. I even burned it. Not that that'll do anything. Oh my god. I don't know what it tried to use, but it missed. Cast. Maybe Sweet Kiss? I think that it either puts me to sleep, or maybe that was Sing. I don't know. It tried to do something. Either Confuse or put me to sleep. And sure, I said, fuck all that noise. Oh, that is... You are, you are hideous. You are disgusting. Oh my god, it, I don't know what it used, but it missed. Oh man, Shara's running the table so far. I figured Shara would have went down like two pokes ago. Okay, look, look at that sprite. Does that not put a smile on your face? This sure as hell puts one on mine. That slow bro is just having the time of his life. I love it. Okay, Amnesia. That could potentially be a problem if Will heals him up. Okay, that's Body Slam. Will did not heal him. Okay. So that's that. Charges ran the table. By no means. By no means what, Will. For my failure, I tell you, I don't change my action. To stand on the coach's peak, I must challenge endlessly. Go forward. It will do to attempt the real power of new emperor. You can go along. Thank you for the permission, Will. All right, so heal Shara up. And I, next one is Koga, poison types. I might leave Shara in. I'm not sure yet. 
I think I'll probably leave Shara in, and then when Shara then eventually goes down... Well, let's see. Hold on. So Koga's first Pokemon, from what I remember years and years ago, his first Pokemon is Ariados. So I could even put Rocky in. And then just, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll run with Rocky for a bit. The method of approach is the experience of four emperor. To exist must to endure. To approach couldn't use one method. For example, to tempt, to hypnotize, and to take poison. To be most changeful is a strange stunt. It isn't enough to depend on strength. The pocket monster is very abstruse. It is important to taste the savor more. I get the feeling that Koga said something very profound there, but because of the uh, garble filter, I didn't understand any of it. So my trainer's just standing there, open mouth, so like, yeah. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Let's see how much Flame Wheel does. I don't. It should do over half. Aridos is pretty not good. Oh yeah, well over half. And double team. Okay. Please, Rocky. Please hit. Okay, thank God. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this Crobat. Maybe put in Lugus and then just start sand attacking. Oh, why would you put this guy in? Oh, he's... What is that? Oh, it's Protect. <laughs> okay. Bruh. Oh, you... Here we go again. Good thing I saved. Oh boy, so knowing that there's now yet another game-breaking bug, uh, that makes me very concerned for this fight. So I'm assuming that him using Protect and then me attacking is what crashed it. So I'm not really sure here what I should do. Maybe I should lead off with Shara? I imagine the Fortress used Protect because Growlithe is Fire-type. And so the AI made, made, made it use Protect just to basically protect itself. Yeah, I know. Well, that makes sense, right? Um, so maybe if I lead off with Shara instead, it being a Psychic type and Fortress not being weak to that will be my best bet. That's the hope. That's the hope and the prayer here. That Koga's AI doesn't see the Fire Punch coming. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. If I have to constantly be resetting and trying to get through this fortress without the game crashing, I'm going to really be sad. I already had enough of this shit against Price. Oh, by the way, sure, I learned Psychic. Off camera. I think she learned it at 38. So, okay. So down goes Ariados. Alright, now please don't use Protect. Okay, good. That should be easily a one-shot. Okay, no crash. Alright, good. <laughs> Crobat is stick. Alright. Oh, no. Come on, Shara. Good. I don't need to start missing. I don't want Double Team to start doing its job. That would be very problematic. Oh my god, I about one-shot the thing. Okay, well. Let's use Psychic again. Maybe I can hit the damage roll. Shit. Exact same spot was that. All right. I don't know what it tried to use. I don't have no idea what Shoah is, but it missed. <laughs> Shara's got the, the quick feet. The quick feet, dodging everything. Okay, Venomoth. I, I'd i love to use Psychic, but I want to try and save my power points with Psychic. Because I know I've got Bruno. Not Bruno. Is it Bruno? I can't remember if Bruno is in this Elite Four or not. Oh, Shoah's toxic. Okay. That explains why it missed. Oh, 
Alright, yeah, this this guy gets a psychic. This might even be a one-shot. Dude, Shara is on the warpath. Genkiss, is that... That's probably... I don't know. I have no idea what that move is. Okay, well, there goes Shara. Shara the warrior. Just... Um... I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. I guess we'll put in Danny. And that should do it. Cool. Alright, so we only I only had one crash against Koga there. And it was when it's fortress she's protected. Do good. If I couldn't realize it's my own, all the capacities, I only attend to practice. Master, go down to the house to approve your strength and save immediately because of crashing. The constant crashing, I swear, has made this playthrough so much, so much more stressful. VC is really held together by spit and glue and prayer, really. I mean, that's, that's the best I can say here. I don't remember who the next person is. It is Bruno! Yeah! Aw, oh, look at his little chubby sprite. I love it. Alright, so we're going to actually lead off with Lucas. We're going to let Shara rest and relax, because she's been doing so much work. We need to split the load here. Alright, cool. Let's do it. <clears throat> I am Siba of Four Emperor. I always believe our own ability. Practice myself to the utmost. Make myself mighty. Can you win us? Eh, maybe not do. You look fine. Fit to challenge abilities. This is good for you. Wooha! Wooha indeed. Alright, Giappa. I remember when I was a kid, the first time I saw Hitmon Top Sprite here and him spinning, I was so intrigued. I'm like, that is the coolest design. I love it. And so I finally got a Hitmon Top and I tried using it, and I was so disappointed. It has detect. Of course it does. Uh oh. What are those? Okay, there were weird symbols by Hitmon Top's feet. But it didn't crash the game like protected. So that's good. <laughs> I get the feeling I just dodged a bullet there. I think the game really wanted to bug out there, and it just didn't for whatever reason. Alright, I don't think Hitmontop has Detect, so I can safely use Fly. Okay, this special attack is terrible. So it should be just fine, alright. No burn, good. Good. Woo, level 46. Okay, this is a this is a big boy right here. Sunrise. I like that. I, I, I'm very, very curious what move Sunrise is. Cross Chop. Alright, well, if, as long as it doesn't crit, I should tank it. Well, Lugus fought valiantly, but, uh, yeah, he's, he's, he's very dead. <gasps> Cross chop missed! Cross chop missed! I, I, I wrote Lugus off too early. Lugus, my man. Lugus, my man. There we go.
All right. Now, am I going to be faster than Hitmonlee? I very much doubt it. But I also don't really have a good switch. So I guess I'll just keep Lugus in. Okay. So now I get the free switch. Um, I, you know what? I'm going to put in Petra. Put in Petra. I'll use Mud Slap like once or twice. Well, that was Swagger, wasn't it? Yep. All right, come on, Petra. Just get through it, please. Good. We're still using Mud Slap in the Elite Four. And it did over... Oh, my God. Because the Swagger did over half his health. How much does Confusion do? Oh, that's... That's quite a bit. But Hitmonlee's blind and keeps missing with everything. And then I kicked out of Confusion. Oh! All right, yeah, this is over, because Petra has the massive attack boost now. That was even before I saw the Onyx. That is unfortunate. Oh, it has Earthquake. Let's see how much it does. I'm curious. <laughs> 24 damage. The Onyx, I really like Onyx's design. Like, I really do. I think it's a really cool design. But goddamn, Onyx is so bad. Also, I just used um, Rollout, by the way. I'm not really sure why. Because it's going to do, like, fuck all for damage until uh, it's in, like, three or four. Oh my god, this Onyx had an accuracy drop, and it does not give a shit. Damn. Okay, then. Um, you know what? Rocky, get in there. I thought Rocky would be faster. No, I just went. I just thought it would be some free, easy experience for him. Please kill it. Thank you. <sighs> that Onyx. I got cute, and Bruno's Onyx just did work. What is the matter that we lost? You are defeated by me. N no. No, I'm not. No qualification to say. To next house. Bruno's a little bit... He's he's a little bit shell-shocked by the loss. He's a bit confused, so we'll leave him here to ponder what just happened. In the meantime, I'm going to heal Petra, who should have never been knocked out. That was just my... I don't know. Failure as a good trainer that led to that. Alright. Now, I don't remember who the fourth member is either. Karen! Karen, of course. Alright, so dark type. First one is Umbreon, from what I remember. Um, probably Danny, I think. Because Danny, I might be able to headbutt um, flinch lock the Umbreon, or I could just go for dynamic punch. But Danny's pretty darn durable, so I think Danny will be able to handle most for team by himself. I am Jaloon of Four Emperor. You are Soul. Mm, you looks interesting. That I love is the evil monster, a very stalwart monster. Isn't it very awful? It's very strong. Can you challenge it? Go all out. I believe you let me happy. Good. Begin. Yes, indeed. Alright, so Hulu's only 42. I thought Karen would be higher level. I think I'm just going to go for the dynamic punch. Oh, God. Yep, here we go. Okay, Faint Stack didn't do much. Danny Snap out of Confusion. Missed with Dynamic Punch again. Okay. So we're off to a rip roar and start. There we go.
Now, hopefully, Umbreon hurts itself. Oh, man, this has been an absolute travesty of a start to this match. <laughs> All right. Let's get Danny healed up. Please hurt yourself. No. Okay, great. <laughs> By the way, Slash, or sorry, Rage is Slash. So I'm not sure I'll actually be using Slash just because Headbutt has the flinch proc potential. So, I mean, it's good that I have it, I suppose. But, yeah. Okay, good, it did do her half. And it, and it flinched. Good shit. Damn, Violet Plume went down like a sack of shit. Good stuff. Gengar. Oh boy. Last time I saw one of these, he was wrecking my whole team. <sighs> um. Man. I, uh, I guess put in Lugus, because Lugus should resist pretty much everything that the Gengar can throw at me. It used Curse. All right, I did not see that coming. And then it used Lick. This poor thing's move set is so shit. Now they need Luck, because it halved its HP. Fly one shot. Good. As I was saying, with any luck, um, because this thing halved its HP, fly one shots it. That was so, so shit. Petra it is. And Karen didn't use the full restore in this thing. Wow. What is... Is that death... It just used Destiny Bond, which means now Petra's dead. Every time I face a Gengar, it is such a fucking troll. So Danny just got full, all the experience. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who she's sending out. Uh, I guess we'll put Danny back in. I think she has a Hound Doom, right? Or maybe her strongest is Murkrow. I don't know. Damn, I'm about one shot it though. Okay, there's the Hound Doom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, yeah, we're just gonna just sacrifice Danny. <laughs> Flamethrower is Smelt. <laughs> it's a great name. I love that. <sighs> okay, so, Kusti. Yeah? Definitely not Rocky, definitely not Shara. Alright, yeah, Kusti it is. If Kusti goes down, well, that would be very unfortunate, wouldn't it? And that's Crunch. Oh my god, Crunchbutt did half my health. I'm so glad I took the time to level people up. <laughs> if everyone was still in the 34, 35 range, oh, this thing would have ran the table. Come on, Kusti. Come on, Kusti. Ooh! Alright, it was, it was rough. It was ugly. And the, her Gengar just... Just embarrassed the shit out of me, but we got through Karen. She is done and dusted. We win. Fuan do good. Who's Fuan? Strong monster. Weak monster. That is others thing. If you are strong, coach, really, you should use own monster to engage. Believe yourself to win. Good, my friend. Friend? Ooh. 
for you know what is important. Good. Go forward. The champion is waiting for you. Yes, first we're going to save, and then we're going to heal. Okay, it took a while, but everyone is now healed and revived. I think I'm going to lead off with Shara, because if I remember correctly, Lance's first Pokemon is Gyarados. And if I'm lucky, Shara can one-shot it with Thunder Punch. That's the hope. That's the prayer. Got my fingers crossed for that one. If it's not Gyarados, then we will adjust accordingly. But I think Shara and Kusti both with Ice Punch are going to be the MVPs of this upcoming fight. Assuming Shara doesn't get just absolutely bodied and one-shot by something. But we've... I can't believe it. Finally made it to Lance, the champion. It's been a long journey because this playthrough, as you guys saw earlier against um, Koga, and then the game tried to bork itself against Bruno too. There's been so many game-breaking glitches and bugs I've had to edit out and find solutions for. But yeah, this playthrough has been all sorts of insanity. And yeah, it's been frustrating but very fun too. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I am playing doing Kanto after Lance. So if you guys enjoy, then stick around because we have a whole other region to do. Should be fun. Anyway, enough talking. Let's get to it. I am waiting you. You can grapple there. It's proved you have real strength. I have nothing to say. Only it's decided by fighting that who is strong or weak. As the strongest coach, the champion of the league, do, comes now. Prepare to grapple. Prepare to grapple. Lance's favorite catch or famous catchphrase, prepare to grapple. Alright, my memory held out. He does have a Gyarados. Level 44. Okay, so I think Shar should be able to one-shot this thing. I hope. Otherwise, Shar is very likely dead. No! <laughs> okay. All right, we're off to a bad start. We're off to a not, not a good start. Um, I guess we'll put in Petra. Because at least, the very least, this thing is stuck and can't do anything now for a turn. Damn, all my plans there, all my big brain plays went out the window when... <laughs> Geared, oh wait, Petra, new breath to remember. Breath. Okay. Um, I don't know. Okay, so hit his headbutt. Ditch is rollout. Belly is mud slab. I don't remember what AD up AWL is. Oh, strength. And I can't remove strength. Um. Shit. Do I, I don't know if I want to get rid of any of these moves. I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna just. Get rid of breath. It's not Earthquake. I know for a fact it's not Earthquake. And that's all that matters. Alright, let's get to using Rollout. Oh, it has Blizzard. Petra's probably very dead. There's no probably about it. Petra is very dead. Oh, boy. Okay. <clears throat> Well, if it has Blizzard, it very likely has Thunder as well. Okay, please don't flinch. Please don't flinch. Oh my god! It makes me flinch and that paralyzes me. Oh, it's it, it knows. Lance knows. He's crippling my Ice Punch fighter. Oh god. Okay, so I'm going... I think I'm going to heal up Kusti. My hope is that it sees my low health and it just goes for Hyper Beam. That's Thunder. Okay, so Kusti is probably one shot. Okay. Shara. Ah. 
I, I need you. I need your power, Shara. I don't know who to put in. I, uh... So put in Danny. Hopefully Danny's fat. There's no way Danny's gonna be faster. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, and Thunder, even with its 70 accuracy, is 100% hitting right now. Love to see it. Oh my god! And then it paralyzed! Please crit. No? Okay. Well, Danny, you certainly tried and gave it your best, but it certainly wasn't enough. Okay, just... Oh! It missed, you just hyper beam and it missed. Okay. So let's heal Shara up to full. Okay. Down Danny goes. Get in there, Shara. Ice punch, one shot. Ice punch, one shot. Yes! Okay, good. Who's Pud? Oh god, okay. Um, I have no idea how I'm gonna fight this thing. Lugus? Yeah, 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 Lugus. Okay, what is, I don't know what mess is. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to just start lowering this thing's accuracy. Because Pud will one-shot Kadabra. Um, and it, it, see, it checks Rocky. <laughs> Who else is alive on my team right now? Kusti, I guess Kusti is, it would be fine. Okay, I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to throw Kusti... Another heal. I think I'm actually going to switch to him. Hopefully it uses Hyper Beam here. Alright, it used... I think that's Rock Slide. Okay, and now Aerodact. Now that I put Kusti in, Aerodact is hitting with everything. Of course, love to see it. <laughs> it couldn't hit the broads. I have a bar while Lugus was out, but as soon as I put Kusti in, just one shot and all over the place. I love it. All right, uh, yeah, sure. Snake, okay. Hopefully it does over half. Okay, it did. Nice. Oh, there goes Shara. If, if, if Shara can somehow manage to tank this. Ooh, okay. That's that's amazing. Shara is absolutely 100% the MVP of the Elite Four. Without a doubt. Shara just tanked a Hyper Beam. A 40, level 43 Cadaver just tanked a Hyper Beam from level 46 Charizard. <laughs> and then she just sent it to the grave. Next turn. See ya. Okay, all we've got left is Lance's last Dragonite here. With level 50, which shouldn't exist anyway, because Dragonite's level 55. But I digress, Lance. Okay, hopefully this does a decent amount. Oh my god. Okay, 
So this is good and bad. Bad because Char, the MVP, is now officially dead. Good because because uh, Dragonair has to recharge. Lance can't heal it. Get in there, Rocky. One headbutt to end it all. Yes! <laughs> Good job, Rocky. Would rather say the pain of Lost than the exciting of having visited the Born of the Championship. You really become stronger. You really become stronger. Only you have proper, mighty, plentiful heart world. The monster will respond to you. The coach and monster will go forward together. Walnut says, Ah, it's over. It's for Doctor is too slow. Hi, Master Soul. Don't meet for a long time. You grow up the holy of the league. It's terrific. It's for your trust and love to the monster. So you can grapple now. The result is the fruit, and only to do so. You can be there, Mr. Soul. Congratulations. Now start together news to new champion. You become to talk more. Hey, follow me, okay? Ah, the news covering isn't over yet. For a long time, you didn't come to the house. So a place to record the monsters forever who fight day and night and conquer the opposite for champion's honor. Now a new champion of the league is born. His grade embodies is important. He trusts in and concerns monsters, sharply treats and endlessly practices himself. Just for this, he becomes a champion. Good, Mr. Thal, start to record you and your fellow's grades. Did you catch all that? Great. It was a long journey. Please don't crash. Okay, thank you. I was genuinely afraid. Shara, the MVP of the Elite Four. She whooped on Will. She could have probably ran the table against Koga. Probably could have ran the table against Bruno. Only one that Shara didn't have a chance against was uh, Karen. And then Shara was clutch against uh, Lance. Whew, boy oh boy. That was fun though. Took a, a Growlithe and a Kadabra, Don Fan, Feraligator, Skarmory, and Ursaring of the four and came out on top. It's a good time. Congratulation. Oh my god, I just noticed that. Find it! 173. Grasp it. 22! The Doctor Opinion. It seemed that it is customed long ahead. All right, well, let's see if the credits actually function correctly. Aw, look at the Pichu. All right, looks like the credits are just absolute, just garbled gibberish, but as long as it makes it to the end, that's all I care about.
All right, on to Kanto.